This is me, I'm so royal And you all wanna be round Yeah, you all wanna be round Round a champion, a champion I got tons of soul on my true collective ball Famous, so, so famous number one Hi everyone! It's in a bit. Um, uh, last my last my was on here. I just showed you the paper, like the sticker paper that I got from my business. And now I'm pretty much just opening packages that I've gotten, not per personally from my business, but I still want this to be like a vlog in addition to my um. Please don't be. A, please don't be. A, okay, so a vlog in addition to how I'm doing the behind the scenes of my business, but I got a couple packages that I want to open, and this first one I don't know. Who's it from? Let's see. Oh, that's cool. And then this one I got from a person on TikTok for a photo shoot that I would like to do. So hopefully this these parcels are these parcels are um gonna fit me. Like the pieces of clothing are gonna fit me. It says, hello, I'm what you've been waiting for. Hello. It's me, it's so pretty and pack it efficiently and there's two things in here please fit me please fit me please fit me what did i get okay so thank you for your purchase okay she did the thingy just like i did the thingy like photo paper but it's so cute her um her can we do this a crystal her thank you note is basically how I want my thank you notes to go, um, but this is so cute. So it says, thank you for your purchase. It's CEO with a fro. Dear Crystal, thank you for shopping with CEO with a fro. I hope these teas inspire you to boldly and to be boldly and unapologetically you always. Wishing you all the success in your business. I'm rooting for you. Um, with love, Catherine. Catherine? I'm going with Catherine. It's pretty so... See the first thing I got. Oops. Okay. This one is just a regular t-shirt, but that's it's tan. This is the perfect size! Okay. CEO with a fro. It's perfect for the titties. It is a size 2X. I could have gotten, I could have gotten away with a 1X, but I'm always weary of stuff like this. Oh, I have to have coffee in the drink. Okay, I got it. Um, I'm always weary of t-shirt sizes no matter the, the fitting chart because I just have so much anxiety when it comes to that and getting the wrong size and then just dealing with the wrong size because I have really yet to return anything that I've bought or purchased. Anyway, so CEO with a fro. Um, should I put on? Try it on. I feel like I'm clean. Yeah, I took a shower. Okay. So, it's this and I will for sure jizz it up a little bit. Like, I will probably just like do the little crappy t-shirt thing and just like crop it here to the side or just like something to the side and then have like a high-waisted pant because I'm already trying to figure out how I'm going to do my photo shoot. Um, so there's this. It's pretty long but again like I said I'm going to zhuzh it up and then fold up the sleeves a little bit and it looks so cute. Now this next one I got is something that I always also want to do the photo shoot with so I don't know I don't know what which one I'm going to wear for it but I'm thinking this one that I have over here that I haven't shown you yet, so hold on. And usually I tag people in the products I get from them on my, in on my Instagram, but I want this, these shirts um, to be like a surprise with my photo shoot. So I'll tag them after I'll do the photo shoot. Cause, or I'll tag them in the post that I wear this with. Okay, so this one is a crop, y'all. Oh, it's so lightweight and warm. It's like a mint color. Ooh, teal with a fro. Um, still the same, um, Oh, this feels so nice. The inside feels so nice. Um, this is an extra large. I'm not sure how this is going to fit, to be honest, but you know, only way you figure it out is if you try it on, Crystal. Come on, baby girl. Come on, please fit the boobies. Please fit the boobies. As quickly as I said the size, I forgot what I said in the size, but it's okay. I also have another shirt under this. Why? Okay, here it is. Here it is. Let me show you with the pants that I got on. Because the other t-shirt wouldn't have done any diligence. And also, it comes down to my hands. I love sleeves that come down to my hands. I'm just that person. Okay. So basically, this is the crop. I wish lighting was better, but it's not. But I love it. And again, I love when sleeves come down to my hands. Because I love doing this. 
and I love fidgeting with my, with my sleeves. So this is cute. Boop, boop. Okay, so I was so afraid of that one pack. I'm like, what the fuck is it? It was so funny. Okay, so that's it. And now we're gonna go over to the packages I got from my actual business and all the inventory. <laughs> Let me just take this off. It feels so nice and so comfortable. A sticker on it. I'm so excited to wear this. I think honestly, I may do two shoots. Ah, two two shoots, meaning two outfits for one shoot. And honestly, the shoot is gonna be just me, my camera, and some faith because <laughs> I'm not paying for a photo a photographer for these. Okay, so these are actually pretty packaged well. Pretty well packaged. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit it back in these packages, so I'm just gonna keep it out. And we'll do with this later. Okay, so I'm gonna move over to my inventory for the rest of the stuff that I got for my business my business and show you that. Let me show you let me show you what I got for my inventory. It's like all right here. Well not all of it, most of it. It's like all right here. All of what I still need to buy are like all of what I still need to buy are like paper, like the actual papers that I'm going to need to print all to print on all this stuff. To print all this stuff on. So I already showed you my sticker paper. We established that. This oh, are beautiful. Okay. So these are just the tissue papers that I'll be wrapping my um will be using for packaging for wrapping my planners in i i'll show you what i'm going to package them like when i finally have a planner i have tissue paper i have rope that i want to wrap around it and i think it will look really cute with the thank you card that i have for it so is there a sticker that i want to put on it i think there's a thank you sticker that i want to put on this to finally like put it together but this is you can't see it like we all we already know that this camera does not do well with um is this tan birch we already know this, did I want birch? Yeah, okay. We already know that this camera does not do well with color, but this is a birch slash tan. At least I think it was tan. It looks more ivory now. But anyway, this is like a seafoam green. Wow, I just don't. It looks blue, but I'm, I assure you it's a Caribbean green. This is pink. Oh, look at that, it's showing up. This is a pastel pink, so love the tissue papers. What else is in here? Oh, is that all in here? And then look in this one are my corners. So for the blush pink, the um, turquoise and the tan, they each are gonna have their own different cinch wire colors and their own different corner colors. There's a gold one, there's gold, there's bronze, there's silver, and then there's bronze. However, I have a rose gold for the pink planners with a rose gold cinch wire. Uh, the red rose, the <laughs> rose gold cinch rose gold corners are somewhere around here but we'll get to it i'm going to open this one next i already have rose gold cinch wire for my previous uh trial of my planners this are another gold cinch wires for the tan planner and then silver cinch wires for the turquoise green planner and then what is this this is the invoice this is the invoice I'll keep that over there my materials over here, all the packaging over here. Now this one. So this is the um, rose gold. This, why do I? Why can I just not, not take them out? Duh. These are the rose gold corners. I hope you can see them. I'm not taking them out to be honest. Um, well, let me do it this way. Is that better? My hands ashy. Hmm. You still can't see. Anyway, this is <laughs> those are the rose gold corners. And then, wait, where are the other ones? Where are the other ones? I just had them. Here they are. Um, along with my planners, I'm having other stationary products, which will not be a actual, just regular plain old notebook, but it will be with the colors that I showed you with the sticker, um, the sticker paper. And they will have silver cinch wire and then silver corners that are smaller because the chipboard for the notebooks are going to be smaller than the chipboard for the covers of the planner. Are you following along with me because I feel like I'm talking in circles? Okay, so I have 25, 
this this is the chipboard that I'm going to be using for the planners each of them come each of the each of the planners will have two covers obviously front and back cover but they also use two chipboards per cover for the thickness for my desired thickness of the cover and to fit the corners that I have so this this chipboard I've bought 12 packs of 25 for the planners my notepads that I'm bringing out and then my, my to do notepads and my outline pads that I'm making too so I have 12 of these um, that's the other 10 and then the integrity of this box with what's in it does not work wait is this also the 25 um, could very well possibly wait I thought it's a different box 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 9, 10. I think I got 12. Or is this the 17? Oh, okay. There's 10 on top and then 2 on the bottom. I was like, y'all have gypped me of my chipboard. There's 10 chipboards um, in here along with the other two. Like I said, I got 12. The other box is the other chipboard. Here we go. Now this comes in a different packaging. This chipboard would be for the notebooks and it's thicker than the chipboard that I have for um, the planners. And the reason why I didn't use this thickness of chipboard for the planners is because of the corners that I found weren't going to be, um, were going to be too big for these boards and if I were to double them up it would be more costly and it would be bigger than the corners that I got so it just helped to find a medium which are the two thinner chipboard chipboards being together to, to create my desired thickness now this piece is a little bit thicker than the other ones and this will just be I need one of these per notebook so and they come in a pack of 15 so I got one two three four five did I need five or did I just overly extend myself? I don't think I needed five. I already had one. Five times 15. 15, 30, 15, 30, 45, 15, 30, 45, 60. I need one more. Okay, so I overly purchased, but it's fine because now I have room to make mistakes. Which is not something that's good, but something that needs to be planned for. So that if I were to cut a couple of these wrong and I only have the exact amount for the desired quantity, then I'm just out of luck because I don't I don't have uh, spare spare parts. Oh, I should really watch Robots. I love that movie so much with Robin Williams and Ro it's just such a funny, awesome movie. And there's a what is it? Find any fix it. So that's it. I think that's actually it. The only thing I'm waiting for, only other thing that I have to purchase are the markers, the paper for all of the products, what's in boxes. Cause I know that I have to revisit the boxes that I already have and redo and redo the sizing on that. And then what I'm waiting for that I already ordered is my stamp with my logo on it for each box. It's going to look so pretty. It's going to look so pretty or better than I can imagine. That's how I'm feeling right now. It will not be less than I imagined. It'll be what I imagined and more. And I'm excited to put it together. You have no idea. I think that is it for this haul. Um... It is week. It is day two of the of week one of Design Week. <laughs> it is day two of Design Week, being the first week of three weeks before launch. A lot of words, but I know what I'm saying. Um, and so far, I have designed part of the planners, and I have a few more pieces of the actual planner to design, and then I'll move on to the other products to design those pieces. And I'm excited. So as of right now, I feel very calm. I feel very excited. And I feel just very like in my, like in it, just in it. And I'm excited to see what happens next. Um, I will show you the, I will, sh I am currently on lunch and I have to get back. 
but I do want to film a little bit for TikTok because I'm also um, documenting this process on TikTok in little shorts. And I have to go back to work soon, so I will show you the designs that I have created later in the day, but it will be in this video because this is going to be a part one and it will be for design week only. Yeah, okay, so see you in a second. Okay, so it's the next day and I did not show you the designs that I made, but I am currently working on the tab inserts for each planner. These are the cardboard socks that I'm working with and the stickers that I'm working with. These aren't going to be the colors of the cards that are going in the planners. They are disposable pieces. Sorry, don't tell the pieces of that. But I'm doing test runs on how to cut them and how I want the tab sizes to be. I also wanted to... Oh, sticker. So, let me show you one with... Oh, I don't have one. Okay. So, I don't know if you can see it, but here's the tab without the sticker on top. And then here is the tab with the sticker on top. I like the glossiness, but as you can see, the sticker has overlapped on this piece that's essentially going to be cut out, but I don't like this overlap piece here. So I've been trying to figure out a way how to cut the stickers and make them make the process of getting the stickers on these tabs efficient and not like painstakingly horrible because I want the I want sticker tabs. I'm just I'm just that stubborn to want them. Do I need them? No, I just want them because every other piece of this um, planner is is like um, is paper. So I just want the tabs to have like some kind of other feel to it. Basically, it's a sensory thing for me and a visual thing. So I like seeing the tabs with plastic on it as opposed to them with not plastic on it. I think it's easy, and that's what it is. It's just too easy to do it this way. But let me do it. You do it this way. Can you just tell? Huh? Right, this one's not cut to size, but like, you probably can't. But I just, I don't know. It's just also the lighting sucks. But I just like the fact that this has nothing on it. So I'm in the process of trying to find a better way to cut the already sized paper. I thought about laminating each paper. But I thought no because that's too much and I actually just want the sticker piece to be on the tab and not the whole entire tab divider. That makes sense? I hope so. These are my tabs. This essentially come on, focus on this is come on. This essential these essentially will be like my um what do you call it? Templates into cutting the rest of them and now what I'm going to do is take these uncut ones and then mark them where the tab starts for the stickers and this will be my second template as to where well this will be my first template as to where to put the stickers my second template is where to punch the tabs Make sense? I think it makes sense. That's what's going on in the little old brain of mine. Can I just say how tired I am? Like, okay, that my chair definitely looks like a person, bro. If you see it running and coming toward me, remember me different. I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh, I'm just a little tired. Oh. But I'll finish this and I'll go to bed. Yeah, I just wanted to have a little bit of templates to potentially do some consistency because making things by hand and not having like a machine for it um, is pretty hard to have some consistency. So my goal is to make sure I'm being and try my best to be consistent in everything that I do. And for that to happen, I need templates. So I told you in the last clip like when I wasn't looking like this like after inventory that I'll show you my designs and honestly if yeah I'll show you all of it because I was going to show you just one new piece but you may be a new person watching this and so who am I to limit what you see right so I'm going to show you the designs of the planners on my computer they are black and white I wanted them to I, at first I wanted them to be black and white but then I'm like it don't even look right, man. I'm like, looking at it, it looks like dead to me, man. I'm like, it needs color. So it'll be colored, but 
be colored um but it's not right now there will be th three different colors to go to go along with the three different colored planners but let me just show you what it looks like now okay let it load here's me and my little dirty screen hi hello come on all right so this is the first page it's blank because i needed it for nothing blank page this is the new creatives and name and email page i really like um at first it was just these two lines here with nothing covering like no, no border um like you know like you want america to be um well you asked but anyway but now it has borders sorry i'm so sorry but i like this um i like this design because it goes like these swirls go along with my new logo which i don't know if i showed you but i'll show you um so now we have the know your planner page which has so much more detail and so much more like caress in it and needs like two more pages um especially with the components that we have in there and for me just putting just putting a little bit more, like I said, detail and a little bit more encouragement into the New Year Planner and how to exactly utilize it. Um, New Planner, New Planner. Now we're into the calendar view. Now this is going to be an undated six month planner. I thought about doing a dated then and undated, but I may do a dated for 2022 because it'll give me more time to design it. Um, but for right now it's undated. And so there's a line here you can't see because it's pretty thin, but you can put the month. And it'll be on the side there and then they'll just we'll still have a theme and there'll be a little design here in a different color of this here because again like i said i don't want it just to be black and just to be like black and white because it already looks so boring here's the visions and actions page i made it one page instead of two pages um so there's that and then we have brainstorming page we have one page per section so this again this is six months so these first few pages will be the same for each beginning of the month so brainstorming page that used to be a section in the planner is now one page for you to write down everything you need to idea wise project wise post wise for the month and then we need to oh actually so i want to bring the monthly content planner con content spread next after the brainstorming um spread so i may do that but anyway here's the habit tracker which you've seen before and if not here's a habit tracker and it's just another a reflection question as to why these habits you have are important to you that's it's, it's important to not just have habits because you think they should that you should have them but have them because they benefit you and they make you feel good and along with that we have a mood tracker i am working on trying to make different designs so this is the first month's design trying to find different images to do for all 31 for the 31 days for mood tracking and then oh wait hold on wait 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 wait, wait. i forgot that i started doing the content spread a little later in the planner i also haven't done all the daily spreads these are just the spreads aside from daily spreads okay so this is the monthly content um section there's just, this is a two-pager but so you have like all these lines and then in this section you put like the initials of a platform you want to use what you're posting the d <laughs> the d means drafted the r means ready to post and i'll put that um little put that little kind of explanation in the know your planner part so there's there's four squares per week and there's five weeks i think that's plenty um, and then there's a small little section right here to put the dates of when things are posting. I think that's plenty of room for plenty of um, content to post. But, you know, let me know if you don't think so. I also will ask for reviews, obviously. Because once you utilize it, you realize what you need and what you don't need. So, and then here's the daily spread that has changed on here as well. You put your date, obviously. It's blank. Affirmations, gratitude section has been condensed into one line. We've boxed off the detailed day-to-day -day or daily section and then down here is daily reflection which used to be its own page but i really wanted to make sure that this planner wasn't a million pages for the weight of the planner for the price of the planner and then for really just to the all-around look i want it to be condensed sleek luxurious looking so over here we still have the to-dos and then we also have the content um for the day and that is pretty much it Ooh, we are orange. Do I look a mess? I feel a mess and my skin is pretty much breaking out. But like, I don't know if it's because of... 
I'm so tired. I need air. I need to like get out of this home. I haven't got out of the house today. I've just been at this desk working, whether it's like on my stuff or actual work. Which I'm pretty tired. One day my face will be clear. And when that day comes, it's over for you bitches. It's over for you bitches. But I'm doing it. I'm doing the same thing. So planning wise. I was supposed to do the divider designs and divider quotes today and then the front cover, back cover today, but I didn't do that. Is it Wednesday? It's Wednesday. That means I have tomorrow and Friday to finish up all the designs. And all I really have to do is, you saw me do the physical dividers, I need to do the quotes for each divider because each month is still going to have a theme, so each month, was, each month will still have a theme quote, and I want to put that on the dividers. And I just have to figure out how I'm going to do that, and I don't know if I want the, I don't know if I want exact design on the divider, because that may be too much. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe I'll do like a border like I did with my, my name, my first page of the planner with the creative name and email but I'm not sure um I'll sleep on it mostly because I'm tired and I don't feel like thinking through it and then we're just going to have to do the, I already actually did notebooks so notebooks are easier They're just line pieces of paper with the date on them I have to do the cover designs but the cover designs are pretty much like the planner cover design so that's like a twofer a, not killing two birds ones like a two firm. Mm. Mm. Anyway. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's that time. Mother Nature's coming. That's why. That's why. I'm trying to figure out, like, why am I so emotional? Why am I breaking out? I'm not eating that bad. Like, I feel like I'm eating pretty balanced. My boobs are big. Pray for me, y'all. But uh, yeah, so I'll spend tomorrow and Friday really doing the designs because I'm not trying to get behind because Saturday I want to spend actually organizing to spend actually organizing my um, workstation and so I actually have a good workflow and, it, and, and everything is is organized to the point where I can pull it without having to pull multiple things out just to get to the one thing that I need. It's not efficient. It's not efficient. And this is probably the worst angle ever, but y'all, I'm kind of losing it. That's all I really wanted to show you in this vlog. I'm going to end it here and then start my next one with the actual, like, physical design and organization of things. So I'll see you in the next vlog. In the next one. The amount of energy that I'm giving right now isn't giving what it's supposed to get gave. But I'm tired. And it's fine. I'd rather be tired doing something that I love than tired doing something that I don't love. <laughs>